Monday's Mail now, and as the culture wars continue, the Conservatives want to strike a blow to end them, apparently. What's this about? Well, this is 20 Tory MPs who are calling for the abolition of England's main arts body over claims that it is using taxpayers' cash to wage an American-style culture war. Um, the culture war works really well for the Tories, doesn't it, in fairness? And, of course, it's understandable that they should push this. Um, but there's a serious point here. I think the Arts Council do, uh, and we all know this, it's not a remarkable thing, they um, have strings attached to their grants, you know? Yes, every, everyone in the arts knows this. Everyone knows that. The whole world knows it. And that is indeed, um, arguably... It's supposed to be an inclusive thing. It's yes. supposed to promote yes. inclusivity yes. and yeah. peace yeah. and harmony. Well, but well, of course, sure it is divisive. I'm not sure about that. I think the Arts Council is meant to promote, promote the arts. Ah, well, there you go. It's a bit like the National Trust, isn't it? The National Trust is supposed to look after lovely old buildings. It's yeah. not necessarily supposed to be leading um, a mission to decolonise English history. And, and that's why people understandably I don't know find where, this contentious. Yeah, but I don't know where that became, like decolonising history and stuff. But I do know that, it, you know, that inclusivity is not a bad thing, but I think it's gone too far. Like, I, I mean, I, I've benefited from the Arts Council. Like, you know, I was commissioned to do something, Arts fund, Council funding. Yes. And it was a project that I really wanted to do to work within, like, communities you know with with kind of you know vulnerable women yeah and, and that was great because it was a, it was a, it was a group of people that i would not have got the arts or had access yes but now you know we were introducing it to so i think that's really important but when it goes silly where you know you just can't like because you know the arts should be available for everybody well, doesn't so, say you take it away so some of the things you're describing people. there things like outreach projects you know art, art, art projects in prisons or in uh, deprived yeah. communities and that sort of stuff so that you know Grants for that, that makes sense to me. Yeah. It makes complete sense to me because people don't get to see these sorts of things normally. But this particular story is talking about uh, how the Arts Council is promoting uh, a, a specific policy that's come from America, which is including this idea of unlearning whiteness, which yeah. is nonsense. It's well, linking cash grants of over £400 million a year to an international campaign that backs unlearning whiteness, and that's important. Well, that's coming straight from the language of, of critical race theory, the idea yeah. of whiteness, and that is... A racially divisive policy, and should taxpayers' money be funding racial well, division? Well, um, this is the Daily Mail, so same me. Well, also, will. <laughs> well, exactly. I was going to say that, and the twenty Tory MPs have accused the Arts Council of backing this campaign um, that involves unlearning whiteness. But the Arts Council have responded, and this is yeah, I've got perhaps thing. an indication <laughs> of what a made-up nonsense this story is. Yeah. The Arts Council have responded uh, with, and I quote, we have never used the term unlearn whiteness. But isn't that a bit of a fudge? They haven't used the term, but the Arts Council is, is linking cash grants of over the £400 million a year to this campaign that does use the term. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that could be significant. I mean, I it looks right. like people I'll need to look point. into it a little bit more. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, I do think, I do, I do worry about the arts in particular getting ideolo ideologically captured. You know, we have to prioritise... I think they already are. I think they no, have know, been for decades. And despite the fact that we had 12 years of Tory government, I mean, they still are and always have been and are as much anything. now as they ever have been. I think the Tories have been just as bad as anyone else. Well, anyway. they've, they've either let it happen or it's continued to pace under them. Um, yeah. But, but uh, uh, undoubtedly, it's, it's, it's a football. Of, co of course it is. It's, it's, it's a football and this story is raised by, as I say, 20 Tory MPs through the Daily Mail and it plays well for them.